Hello everyone and welcome back to another Brood War ladder match. This is a particularly special match here. Really a unique event that happened on the ladder. We've got Stork versus Sharp. No spoilers for the SSL. No spoilers in the comments either, guys. I'll be watching. But these two played this particular match right before going into their group for the SSL. They were warming up at the studio and they matched on ladder. Kind of a crazy situation to be preparing for your opponent and meet them on ladder during your preparation. But we're going to get a rare opportunity to see what the lead up to their group in the SSL was like. How did they match up? Who ended up taking a win uh, before their match and perhaps how that might have affected their mental state and their opinion of how they're going to do against their opponent. Now, we've got Sharp on a barcode. I'm not sure if this is known to Stork. It absolutely could be. Uh, he might recognize this. It's not a, a true barcode. Just SDSS. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. The first three letters on your keyboard repeated over and over and over again. Um, kind of a barcode here, but it's totally possible that Stork knows who this is. And of course, Sharp is well aware of who he is up against and... He might actually be nervous to take on Stork in this group because he's just been showing such great results practically everywhere that, you know, Sharp generally probably wouldn't be afraid of Stork, but after the recent events of KCM and in SSL, I mean, you've got to be considering this guy as your one of your main threats uh, to getting out of your group, so... Gonna get an opportunity here to uh, play a game against him. How will this go? Looks like we're gonna have a range here in a moment from Stork. And a factory getting started for Sharp. When will we get this range? Okay, he might actually be skipping range. Stork skipping range here in favor of a robotics facility. That seems likely at this point. Gonna hit the Nexus out. Maybe just the, getting the Nexus out first. Didn't actually check to see if there was range or not. Uh, preferring to keep the SCV on high HP. There's the range starting here after the Nexus. So, one goon Nexus into range. Has quite a bit of extra gas right now. I'm not sure if that was an error in the build or... Most likely, it was intentional to get an earlier robotics facility here in a moment. Machine shop just about finished and let's start producing vultures in a moment. There's just four marines here on the hill so far. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit of a different play from Sharp. We generally see him oftentimes going for the vulture. Trying to sneak that out onto the map, look for damage with the early vulture, but it appears like he's doing more of a... Oh, a second factory. Oh, okay. Double factory play here. Sharp is just going to try and kill him right now. He doesn't want to reveal any of his strategies. He doesn't want to give Stork any time to practice against whatever he might... Uh, <laughs> whatever he might have planned for the SSL. He's just going to go two factory. Now, two factory is not... A very strong build anymore it is of course it can still kill but it is completely out of the meta Protoss players have figured this out all too well and they tend to defend it without with very little trouble we're gonna go for speed with the tanks does he actually have mines yes he has mines too so mines and speed he's placing some mines out here in the front we've got three dragoons on the high ground, second gateway is about to finish. Range just finish, finished now, and we're gonna have some uh, observers popping out here soon, but it's two gateways to two factories, so 
There's quite a bit of pressure that can be put on right now. It's all going to come down to this micro. Stork backing up into this corner. He can pull probes when the time is right. Got to dive on top of that tank. So he's got to be careful with the tank. Pull that thing back before it gets surrounded. Not many probes have been killed thus far. And he can start to deal some damage to the tank. That's a great bit of damage there. Bringing that tank very, very low. And if he gets one more volley, okay, just about there. He needs one more hit on that. Good snipe on the mine there. Picking off these mines with the probes help. Gonna start to chase down the tanks a little bit here because that one tank is super low. He finishes it off. The observer is here now, so mines are no longer as much of a threat. It's just gonna take time to bash through them. There's only one tank remaining. Oh man, I think that Stork has held this with flying colors. He didn't cut any corners that maybe Sharp was expecting him to. And I doubt this is the type of play we'll see out of Sharp uh, in his matches in SSL. Ooh. One mine connects. That's the only mine that's connected on any of Stork's units uh, in this uh, defense. I'm going to go ahead and kill his own pylon. The shield battery finished up so he can regen some of those shields. And this is held. To start a CC on his side of the map, but Sharp is in a lot of trouble. Let's see if he can uh, get some sort of damage going here with the vultures that have been produced to follow this up. I'm gonna pull some of the mines in here. Tries to get them to land on the tank, but I don't think he was successful. I'll start to chase back this tank. Gotta be careful of the mines, of course. But now there's gonna be a shuttle on the way. More Dragoons are piling out here, and as you can see, just even two gate Dragoon production with good micro is enough to handle an attack like this. Stork absolutely capable of shutting down a two factory play, and although Sharp doesn't reveal any builds here, definitely he's not going to be using this in the SSL. I mean, he's going to take kind of a significant loss. He's actually going to play this one out, which is a little bit mind-boggling to me. I guess he just wants to play from behind and see what he can do. But I feel like the mental edge that Stork will be getting from this game uh, has to be significant. There's nothing has worked right so far. Sharp is... I mean, he's hurt. He's hurt. His economy sucks. He's only got two factories. He starts his plus one. Everything is behind, though. His worker count's way behind. Ten workers down. Uh, we're going to see a third nexus here in a moment. There it is. Oh! Oh, he's going to block it. Okay. That's a little bit of a win there for Sharp. Basically, everything's gone wrong this game, but that... I'm going to send another probe down here. The, uh... Vultures are looking for an opportunity to snipe that. Just got to drop that Nexus. There we go. Does get that down. Won't be able to block it again. Won't be able to slow that down any further, but... Sharp is still alive in this game. He's only 10... 17 supply behind, excuse me. Only 7 army supply behind at this point. Somewhere around... Somewhere around there. We've got Reavers. Here it is in the shuttle, heading over towards Sharp's base. If he blocks the Reaver perfectly, I think he, he he stands a pretty reasonable chance of coming back. If this gets much damage, though, he's going to be in a huge amount of trouble. It's already a bad situation. It would just get worse. Looks like it's been blocked. Still, full HP on that shuttle. Nothing's been dropped, so he could come around to the side here. Try to do some harassment with that. He's actually going to drop the Zealots out and pick up both the Reavers now. Generally, if you're going to go for the main base, you want to have a couple Zealots in there. So you can drop drag mines and take tank shots, but... Picking up these two Reavers, that leads me to believe he's just going to land out here on the little peninsula there. The pizza slice in front of Sharp's base and try to slow down any sort of push. 
I doubt he'll be dropping into the main uh, from this position. He's got his third base completely rolling. He's got plenty more gateways on the way. We're going to have leg speed pretty soon. It hasn't started just yet. It's a bit of an oversight here for Stork, but you should get that going here in a moment. And there it is. Double shuttle. Okay, now he can go for the main. If he's got two shuttles, one with Zealots, one with Reavers, then he can definitely go in here and try to deal some damage. Let's see what uh, kind of damage he can get uh, in the main. One turret was just about done there. Oh, he takes a big shot there on his Reavers. Not quite juggling in between on time. And oh, he eats a mine as well. Okay, this is really not going well for Stork. Stork going to drop outside of the range of this tank. But Sharp is responding to this pretty well perfect. Very little damage was done there. And I think Sharp's going to be really happy with that. He will get this probe as well. Very nicely done. Dude, Sharp is making a comeback right now. Generally, two factory play is pretty all in. It's very rare that if you don't kill a huge amount of probes, the Terran player will be able to come back into the game, but somehow he's doing it. He didn't really get many kills. You know, maybe four or five probes, a couple of dragoons here and there, but... He kept the pressure on, and... Ooh, this is gonna be some big damage. There we go. Getting a couple of Goliaths there and keeping the two Reavers alive. Not bad for Stork. But this is still a very fragile shuttle now. It's not like he can Bulldog anywhere at this point. He's gonna have to land. He might even want to swap out sh the shuttle. Put the Reavers in the high HP shuttle and put the Zealots in the low HP one. Third base is already being taken here by Sharp. I mean, it's past 11 minutes, but with the way the early game has gone, all the timings have been pushed back a few minutes. And so I think this is pretty on curve for Sharp. Getting this 12 minute, 12 and a half minute third base. The fourth base is just coming up now for Stork. Tentatively moving out to take that. It was delayed, as we saw with the Vultures. Doesn't have a lot of defenses over here, just two cannons. Could be harassed, but Sharp really needs everything to defend these three bases right now. He's spread a little bit thin, but he's ready for any sort of attack. I think it'll be likely. Oh, another denial down here. Just Vulture's gotten three kills. I am assuming most of them on probes that have come down to take additional bases. Oh, it's going to keep it alive here again. The one zealot that was sent down gets dealt with, and Stork is getting a little bit annoyed, I think, at this point. He's actually just going to pull the trigger without taking a fifth base. He's going to try and run right through this. Dive bombing on top of a lot of this. Oh man, that one mine was insane. Killing so many zealots there. Some storms are going to come out. Dealing quite a bit of damage to the tanks, but the dragoons are starting to melt. And there's still vultures and a goliath remaining in this army. He's going to lose his entire force. Still 40 supply ahead. Nearly. Okay, it's actually evening out a bit more now. 30 supply ahead. But Sharp takes a very significant win, kind of baiting Stork into a big fight here. Uh, and I I promise you, a lot of that was because of the denial on this fourth base. Or fifth base, excuse me. Not being able to take that when he wanted to. Stork getting a little bit frustrated, I feel. And look at this. He's going to lose his probe again. Oh, man. Stork is really getting blocked so often this is the this is the sharp that we know and love you can just see how on point he is right now did he just lose oh man i think he just walked into a mine there this is the the sharp that we uh, adore the one who can just always seem to get in there with the vultures and deal a huge amount of damage big drop here into the main 
The Reaver shuttle is almost going to go down. It does manage to survive. The Reaver's taking a big shot from one of those tanks, but the tank gets taken out by the Vulture, so these will survive a little bit longer. They were both on low HP, though, so it was inevitable. They would end up going down. Sharp clears this without much problem, and that was just three shuttles and a huge amount of supply thrown away by Stork. He's finally going to start his fifth base, but that's been delayed so heavily. Remember, we were trying to take the fifth base uh, before the attack came in here from Stork, and now it's just finally getting started. Vulture over here finally gets taken out by the Zealot, so he can continue to expand on this side. That thing was super, super annoying, getting like four kills on probes that were looking to expand. Pushing everything back. Sharp is going to take his own fourth. And he's already mining it before Stork even gets his own fifth mining. That's a little bit crazy. I would actually say that there's a slight advantage going to Sharp at this point. He just started his plus two, though. It wasn't like he was on up mech this entire time. He sacrificed upgrades to get to this point. And now he's trying to catch up on those upgrades here, sitting on four bases. It's totally possible that he could max out and get his plus two and eventually his plus three. He may even try to go for another base uh, in the top right hand corner. But this attack coming in is not looking good for Sharp or for Stork. It's very. Oh, man, those storms actually might change the math here. Everything was getting minced by the mines and vultures at the front, but in the end, looks like he's going to be able to push through and maybe get some good damage going here. Sharp on the high ground. Needs to move back some of his units. He's actually pulled a lot of this. He's only got two tanks over on that side. Going to pull some mines into that. Very nice mine connections. Didn't have much space to maneuver. Stork losing a lot of his dragoons, but he's breaking in with zealots on the right-hand side, and he's rallying forward more units. More Templar are being brought forward in the shuttles as well. They're going to get to the front. A lot faster than they otherwise could have. A lot of SCVs are going down, but he's still actually even on the overall SCV count, surprisingly. 61 to 61. Here comes that shuttle. Looking for big storms here. Getting some storms on the retreating tanks. Looks like we'll have to lift for a moment. Vultures are going to be sent in to try and pick some of these off. He does get the one Templar. Can kite these uh, Zealots pretty effectively. Gets a pretty good mine connection there as well. He's just about to clean this up, but more storms going to be laid down on these uh, defending units. Another good storm there. He's going to pick up and back off. So, as the dust settles here, Stork with a 50 supply lead. Sharp about to get his plus two finished has a similar number of SCVs, so he can absolutely uh, saturate this base, his fourth base. Meanwhile, fifth base is done. Sixth base has not been started yet, though, and it might be denied again. Beautifully done here, Sharp denying that sixth base. He's staying just one base behind Stork at all times, and occasionally has been on even bases, at least for a few moments. And so although he almost got broken here on the high ground, it got really scrappy there for a moment, and it looked like he might just lose the game. I think that Sharp is still hanging in there strong. He just needs to spread his tanks and don't get too hasty moving out. We want to spread our tanks as much as possible. Don't let any storms hit more than one tank at a time. 146 supply. We need to get a lot higher than that. If we want to take on the 200-200 of Stork, he's going to have to take the fight of his life here if he wants to hang on. So big, the supply lead here for Stork, and he's just crushing through these tanks uh, in the center. A lot of SCVs are going to have to be pulled, but Storms will answer. Storms on that ramp, do dealing a lot of damage to these SCVs. SCV is going to be pulled out to the front. Dragoons are all that remains. And so he should be able to push this back, but he doesn't want to risk his tanks right now. Only five tanks remain. He's trying to clear this up with just the tanks on high ground and vultures throwing down mines around these 
Rallies of Zealots are gonna come forward in the fourth base is under threat. Tanks slowly pushing up here. Gonna snipe that one vault, uh, one uh, Templar, excuse me. High ground drop. On top of all of these tanks, this might be it, guys. Stork breaking through over here on this base. Nice D Matrix, but how is that gonna help him? The tank gets picked off regardless. And we are just about at the, the end of this game, I think. We're gonna have to pull all the SCVs here from the fourth. Sharp is barely hanging on right now. He's got EMP on the way. I'm not sure what that's for right at this point. We need units. We need units out here. Where are all the units? We're sitting here on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight factories. Maybe not enough as Sharp has quite a bit of money in the bank, but he's just not able to spend it all. Three more tanks, four Goliaths are about to pop out. Is there a transition coming? No, there's not. We're actually starting to mine out on all of our bases. Only three bases of mining remain. This base is floating right now. Oh, another base over here. So kind of tricking out Sharp for a moment. We might not notice that. Okay, he is gonna see this. Should be able to go after that probe. You will get that. I'm gonna come up and clear these vultures now. He really needs to get this extra mining base going. Every moment that that's not mining is very painful for Sharp. He's gonna land and get all of these SCVs at 12 o'clock together to mine that base. Some cannons finish up down here. Uh, at the bottom right. Another probe making its way over to potentially take the space. Oh, he gets the Nexus, just barely. That actually would have been a very big denial. Probe transfer is coming. Stork is uh, aware of the possibility here. Oh, another nice mine connection. Getting some very decent mine connections. And actually, Sharp is going to try to move forward. That is a little bit crazy. Yeah, I think he should back away. We're at 40 supply behind the Protoss at this point. Plus three is about to be done though. And so these tanks are gonna be hitting harder than ever. A lot of mines here in the middle. Those should be cleared up by just a few Dragoons and that Observer. The setup is looking nice here for Sharp. That's a lot of shuttles though. We're now mining down here in the bottom right. Sharp really can't do much about that unless he wants to do a full-on push. Oh, EMP. I guess the EMP hits some of these shuttles, but can he actually pick them off before they drop out their stuff? I don't think so. Shuttles getting some great drops here on top of the tanks, and the Templar are coming out and dealing huge damage with the storm. A D-Matrix goes down, but I think it's a little bit too little too late. So much of the army has been cleared. A big 40 supply advantage now for Stork. Yeah, he wasn't really able to snipe down any of those shuttles as they were coming in. They, for the most part, got all of their stuff out. Managed to drop every single unit that he wanted to. This Archon with eight kills. Not really from the Archon, but from the Templar and their spells before. Those kills do count. The combined kills towards the Archon, Archon's kill count. Gonna start to stretch forward here. Might get a free Templar. There we go. Tank count is relatively low. We're at 113 supply. Now 60 supply behind. It's getting worse. Sharp's position is worsening here. Is producing only vultures and tanks. One Goliath in the production tab. He's no longer going to be looking for uh, kills. Oh, here we go. Getting a few Templar. That's big. Just killed like three, four Templar there. At the rally point. A nice snipe by Sharp. Absolutely worth it. To uh, throw some of these vultures across the map. And he doesn't even lose any of them either. That's amazing. 
getting so much value out of these units that's really what he needs from a position like this this plus three is done he's moving out with the tanks 146 supply to 200 generally you can't take a fight with a 200 uh pr supply protoss army with anything less than 160 but sharp is gonna try and make it work here and he get into a perfect position that stork just cannot break setting up a few tanks at the front with the d matrix going to leave that behind while he spreads out everything oh boy actually he's just gonna make a run for it he leaves the one d matrix tank as a sacrifice and sends everything else back home man he really needs to set up spread with these tanks but the vultures are gonna be or the zealots are gonna be dropped on top of these tanks and vultures army making its way forward here big storms on the back line i think this is it stork takes a great fight here at the end and gg is called stork taking him down right before his game in the ssl his group is going to be filled with confidence going into that uh protoss versus terran matchup of course it might be nagging in the back of his mind here that Despite opening with two fact, we managed to take it all the way to 26 minutes. The annoyingness of Sharp, the way that he was able to continuously snipe probes over and over and over and just slow down Stork. If this was a normal game where Sharp had opened with, say, uh, one factory expansion, like a Vulture expand or something like that, how much harder would this game have been? And could Stork have won that? All the answers will be found in that group stage of SSL. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, no spoilers down in the comments. This was a really rare, unique opportunity to check out a game that happened right before SSL. And so I'm glad I had you guys here with me. Make sure to like the video subscribe and i'll see you in the next one